Mrs. Jenkins, I'm afraid I have some terrible news. No. Did he at least go with honor? Uh. <laughs> it was mid-battle, when Chief realized he needed a weapon. That's when your husband gave up his only rifle. Anything for you, Chief. It was for the greater good. Uh. <laughs> Chief said your husband attempted to escape to a nearby vehicle. But Chief needed it more. It's all yours, Chief. Wait, you left him all alone? Uh, no ma'am. The Covenant was still very much present. What? That's horrible! It was for the greater good, ma'am. Anyway, Chief was in need of some cover in order to splatter the Covenant scum. So he used your husband as a decoy. Ugh. Chief proceeded to pwn a bunch of Covenant noobs. Soon after, your husband would rendezvous with the Chief after being a great distraction, suffering from multiple bullet wounds. I'm suffering from multiple bullet wounds. Why didn't Chief help him? Chief was busy, shooting a dead grunt. Why would you do that? It was for the greater Stop good- Stop saying that! But ma'am, it's true! I get it. But it sounds like Chief is just screwing around while my husband's being used as a human meat shield. <laughs> Chief says this is where it gets good. Chief said he was trying to land a sticky from across the map, but it only led to them being further pinned down. So he did what he had to do. What did he do? He placed a sticky on your husband's back and sent him into battle. It's for the greater good. You've got to be kidding me. It was for the greater good, ma'am. It was low-key poggers. I'm done. Actually, he survived the blast. He made his way to an evac where he was airlifted to safety. But unfortunately, that's where he choked to death on some crackers they fed him on the pelican. Oh. Uh. Thank you for your loss, ma'am. Or thank you for your sir, your husband's service. Um, did you want this? I'm gonna go now. Have a great day, ma'am. On to the next one, Chief. All right. <laughs>